Hello, so welcome to this video where we'll discuss the performance issues you can face in Office 365 when you run in online mode. So this is not the most common issue, but if you find when you're using Office 365 in online mode that it speeds up, slows down when you click an email, it's fast, when you click another one, it's slow. This is often related to a DNS issue. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So whenever Outlook goes to open an email, it's going to have a look up at outlook.office365.com. So just to demonstrate that for you. For example, you select an email in your Outlook and it will reach out to outlook.office365.com and it's going to return an address. You see I'm getting pretty bad response time here of 155 milliseconds. So I've deliberately set it up in a way that my DNS is not correctly set just to show you what it's going to look like. And from here we can determine what exactly Office is using to bring back its results. So if we do an NS lookup on outlook.office365.com we return a bunch of results. So my data is in Australia so I've got a bunch of IPs here. So for example 52, 98, 71, 210. 52, 98, brain fuzz, 65, 71, 210, 71.210. So I'm going to look that up. And you see I've got a country region of Singapore. So for some reason, my DNS is telling my Outlook to go to Singapore and fetch my data. So this is the reason why we're seeing a huge response time. So normally this would occur if you had these settings set on your DNS server in uh, in your office if you used a DNS server for that. So you can easily troubleshoot this if it's just your local machine that has this issue by taking a look at the DNS server set on your network card. So go to control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center, find your adapter, for me ethernet. So you go to properties, go to IPv4 properties and here I've got the Google DNS. So obviously these are returning incorrect uh, results which are you know causing my slow speeds. So if you had a local DNS server obviously this setting may be set incorrectly there as well. You may want to get your IT to check the DNS forwarders to see if they got the Google ones in there. It's generally not recommended not to have these in there because they will often return a slower server. So I know a lot of people have had luck with the uh, DNS private DNS provider. I think it's one dot one dot one dot one. So we'll hit that. We'll hit that one, and then we want to check what our response time looks like. You see, it's dropped to 16 milliseconds. So now we're actually looking in the right direction. So NS lookup outlook.office365.com. So we've got a bunch of addresses here. Let's do one as a test. 40100151.2. 40100151.2. And there you go, Australia. So that's the correct place we should be looking. And that's where I want to be looking if I want to grab my data the fastest. All right, so that is pretty much it as far as DNS causing slowness in Office 365. If you find it's still slow, there are probably you know a few other usual things you can check. Those are of course your add-ons. You want to minimize them as much as possible. Your network PSTs, avoid them at all costs. They cause nothing but trouble. Hardware acceleration. So this can be something for people who use Outlook on a terminal server. This can cause it to run very slowly sometimes. So you'll find this setting in here, disable hardware graphics acceleration. People, a lot of people find that this can speed it up. Apart from that, there's always the option to go to cached mode. But of course, there may be reasons why you don't want to do that. But if you were to cache, you can always cache for one week, something like that. And yeah, hopefully that helped. All right, see ya, bye.